There is an industry in the world that actually makes 14 billion dollars from trees. That's a natural rubber. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So this is the very first video of Instant Made. So in this category, I'm doing videos that's actually how the products are made. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you how the natural rubber is prepared. That actually the lattice is collected from the trees, then how it's made into rubber sheets and so on. The natural rubber manufacturing process began with harvesting lattice from rubber trees. The process starts early in the morning, that's actually from 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. That's the best time to harvest. The trees must be at least 6 or 7 years old to start harvesting. Harvesting lattice from rubber trees starts with scoring or cutting into bark of the tree. So the first step is to remove the scrap rubber from the surface. A long shaped tool is used to make scores on trees. And the tool must be more sharpened to make cuts on trees and the rubber tree is not really small to make easy cuts. If it's a fine tree, then the lattice flow would be more fast. Lattice collected into a cup attached to the bottom of the cut in the tree. The cup is flexible polymer cup and in its older days, a coconut shell was used to collect lattice. So generally, we can start collecting lattice from trees after planting 6-7 years. So the best time is always 7 years after planting the tree. But if it's in the good condition, you can start collecting lattice after 6 years. It takes around 1.5 hours to 2 hours to fill the cup. If it's in the early morning, the flow speed must be much higher. Usually the lattice flow will be much higher in November and December because the atmospheric temperature dropped down in these months. The lattice from all the trees is accumulated in steel buckets. So after collecting all the lattice from rubber trees, the next step is coagulation process. The coagulation process that curdles or thickens the polyisoprene into a mass. So usually in lattice coagulation process they use this kind of acid that actually a uh, mixer of formic acid then PNP. I think PNP is a catalyst. So the coagulation process is not really easy. It takes around 8 to 10 hours to happen or even we can do within one and a half hours. So the thing is we have to add 80 ml or 60 to 80 milliliters of diluted acid into 1 liter of water. Then we have to mix the lattice into that water and acid mixture. So that's the process. The coagulation process takes about 12 hours. But we could even do that in less than 2 hours if we add more acid to the liquid. But it's not the proper way. If you add more acid, sometimes the process may not happen. But mostly it would happen even if we add acid in different ratio. And the final step is pouring the lattice into a container. And the container must be in this shape. So finally, pour the lattice into a container. And wait for thickening the lattice. Then the next step, skewing of water from the rubber using a series of rollers. We need to skew in two types of rollers. First one is a plain smooth roller and second one is a grooved roller. 
We can adjust the thickness of the sheet by adjusting the distance. After using the first roller, it moved into the second one that's actually grown roller. The final step is drying the sheets. Unlike other industries, this stage is really really important. Initially, these are sun-dried, then rubber sheets are dried over wooden racks in smoke houses. It's not necessary to smoke, we can sell it on market after sun-drying. But if you smoke a sheet and make it into an extreme dark color, then it's more valuable in market. Not only the first quality sheets, the scraps also sold in the market. So these are really 12 years old trees, so we could get more lattice than the previous states. And probably we can collect lattice up to 15 or 20 years, in between 15 and 20 years. And after 20 years or something, they cut down all the trees and sell this for making plywood or something like that. And before they cutting down all the trees, uh, in the last one or two years, they collect more lattice or they will score three or four times in a day from trees and they collect more lattice from trees and make more rubber sheets and make more revenue. There are specific quality standards in rubber sheets. RSS or ribbed smog sheets are more valuable than normal sun dry sheets in the market. The drying process generally requires several days. The resulting dark brown rubber now called ribbed smog sheet, as I mentioned earlier, is falling into bales for shipping to the processor. Not all rubber is smoked, however, rubber dried using hot air rather than smoking is called an air dry sheet. This process results in a better grade of rubber. And even higher quality rubber called pale crepe rubber requires two coagulation steps followed by air drying. This is all about natural rubber processing and nowadays the industry has facing some serious crisis because China started using more synthetic rubber to manufacture tires so the price of natural rubber dropped down. So this is the process of making natural rubber. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I cannot guarantee all the countries like Malaysia, Thailand, that's the major rubber producing countries follow the same step to produce natural rubber. But this is a method usually we do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wish, you can subscribe and I make science oriented videos. So see you next time. Bye.